Boy, haven't done this in a while. But hey, you guys have asked for it. You wanted to know how I edited this in Photoshop. This one is coming up right in, well, after the intro. Yeah, I'm rusty. <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. I do make videos that shows how I photograph cars, how I use Photoshop Lightroom, and in this case, I'm using um, Capture One. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit and smash that like button. And that's the only way you can support this channel. All right, so now that is out of the way, let me show you the original shot, which is this one. You know, while I was actually looking at it, this reminded me of, remember the, um, the old DOS game of Prince of Persia? <laughs> just as if he's going to jump. Anyway, I just thought I wanted to, I don't know for some reason, wanted to point that out. Anyway, so yes, um, let me show you the before and after. So this is the after, this is the before, and as you can tell, I've done some really minor adjustments. I just dropped the highlights, increase the exposure a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I actually did warm up the shot, but I think I did from what I see over here and so forth. So it's just really some basic adjustments, nothing much. Now I shot this at uh, this focal length of 51. Um, I had it at F11, I really wanted a very sharp shot. And you know, I had it on a tripod, so um, it was shot at a shutter speed of 1 30th. I don't know how to say that, but yeah. But yeah, you get it. So that's it, I think, for um, yeah, the raw processing. Option. Anyway, let's move to Photoshop. All right, so now that we are in Photoshop, let me walk you through the layers, which aren't really much if you see on the left over here, but let's start with the basics. And those who have been following me for a while, you know, the first things first, clean that crap out because it looks just too much. Now, if I enable this layer, this is the cleaning layer. I could have done a better job at some areas like this and here and there, but I guess it was fine for what it is. I also removed the Prince of Persia over there. So the way I do it, I just do, you know, enable or create a new layer. And um, I use a combination of the um, stamp layer, clone stamp tool, sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm rusty, <laughs> the healing brush tool. So I use a combination of both to clean up. Um, I do have a course, by the way, on everything that I've poured into this shot. And I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I'm not sure if it's discounted or am I going to discount it for you guys, but do have a look at it. Um, it's actually two different shots into one course. So it's really good. It, it explains everything from the healing brush tool to the clone stamp tool to getting in the details and stuff like that. Anyway, what you've noticed as well is I've only used one shot and I just wanted that reflection in. I usually use two to three different shots and ro rotate that CPL to get, you know, the reflections off. And I decided, no, I'm just going to use one shots that, or one shot this time. Um, and there it is, there you go. So after this, um, I did a dodge and burn layer and I didn't do much really uh, in terms of dodging and burning, just uh, brightened up the tires or the wheels and darkened certain parts of the body over here. Now if I zoom in, so you can see that clearly. Um, I did emphasize the highlights here, uh, the shadows over here, I think. Yeah, but not much. Not as much as I did on the R7, by the way. I did a lot of dodging and burning over there. And I think it's just because it was a white color car. It was more exciting for me to dodge and burn, honestly speaking. <laughs> but yeah, anywho. And uh, yeah, so the next, step was the smart filters uh, sorry the camera yeah smart filters and i do use smart filters so i can show you what i've actually done you can always use smart filters to go back to the edit of the smart filter itself now i don't know why it looks like that 
I think what happened here is I updated the camera raw, you know, whenever there's an update to camera raw, Photoshop, things get ruined, especially if you've done it in the previous version, which I've actually shot this car at. But yeah, let me walk you through it. If anyone knows the solution to this problem, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I appreciate it. Okay, so I did the basic adjustments. You know, I um, made it warmer. Um, increased, uh, actually, yes, lifted up the shadows. Just wanted to not lift it up the shadows, but yes, I did bring the shadows lighter up just to bring the details of the shadow. Um, I did add a bit of vibrance, clarity. Um, you can see that uh, this has been highlighted. That means that I might have actually used the new version. Anyway, anyway, I'm not sure what's happening with this shot right now within camera raw. It looks good outside, that's all that matters. But you get it, right? And on top of that, I use the graduate filter. You know, usually I just would like to darken this area just a bit. Nothing crazy, just a bit. I know it looks crazy, but it doesn't look that crazy. And this is not the effect. This is the road, by the way. This is not the effect of the gradient. Okay. Let me see what I've done. Uh, I did actually, yes, use, I kind of use this every now and then. I increase the wise exposure and uh, the clarity as well, texture, just to bring out the details of these, like so. Uh, so I use it here on the grill, on the lights, um, the rims, and so on forth. I wouldn't use that on the body itself, so uh, be careful when you use this. And yeah, I guess that's it. Let's go back to Photoshop. Now let me see what I've done here. Ah, this sky, the sky replacement. Now I know, you know, you hear a lot of photographers saying when you replace the sky, you know, it's not really a true photography. Then I don't know what painting is. This is purely art, right? But yeah, you change the sky and I don't, we don't like it. Well, I don't really give a damn. It looks better. In my opinion, sorry. I need to respect their opinion as well. But yeah, when I added the sky, it became more dramatic. I mean, honestly speaking, we don't have really great skies, right? Not in Bahrain. I mean, maybe in the United States, maybe in Switzerland, maybe in Europe, but in Bahrain, it's just dull. It's sometimes even yellow, brown, I don't know. It's pollution stuff. So yeah, I did add the sky. And um, the way I did it, so let me demonstrate this quickly. Um, and there's a reason why I did not use um, smart filters with this because it just doesn't work with it properly. I did use Skylum software and um, I'm not sure which one I used. Uh, the last one is the AI and I'll leave a link to um, Skylum. Uh, the description below, so make sure to check it out as well. Okay, so um, now that we're here, let me show you how I did change the sky, and if I remember correctly, it was over here. And um, you go to the sky, and then the sky selection. Now they have pre-built skies within Skylum, and that's great, it works crazy. I do have a video explaining how that works too. Well, let me show you. Uh, I'll just select a random one. Oh, there it is. This is the one I did select. Now, uh, I did do some basic adjustments like um, the horizon position. So this is like too, so too much at the bottom. Um, I did not rely the scene. I don't want it to affect the scene. Now you can rely the scene based on the, um, the sky uh, photo replacement that you're using, but I just didn't use that. So. Um, that one over there, I'm not sure if I did to close the gaps, that, that doesn't matter. Anyway, I did, however, um, made it warmer because it was a warm shot from the edit itself. And uh, then I just clicked apply and I'm going to show you what I did next. Let me close that. What did I click yes to? Oh, never mind. just delete this. And I'm going to delete this and let me go back to this layer. Now you can see that I did add a mask because I wanted the sun out. I wanted it to be a part of the photo. 
So I did use a mask. You can see, uh, I'm not sure how much you can see, but I did mask out the sun mainly and a bit from the sky over here. So just to make it look like a, you know, a real, um, make it just more realistic, honestly. All right, so on top of that, I did add, you know, some flares. I just made it warmer. It's an overlay layer with uh, a yellow brush and brushed out, drop the opacity to 27. Uh, if I increase this to 100%, you'll see what I'm talking about. And it looks horrendous like this, so let's bring it back. And then added a red one just to give it more realism. Uh, it's very soft at 4% soft light. And on top of that, I did not use this. I wanted to use something like, like a flare or something. I didn't like this overlay. And this is from the overlay packs that I've downloaded thousands of years ago. But yeah, um, if you're interested to know more about this pack, let me know. I'll try and find it for you. So yeah, I did add a flare over here and I kept it over on the side and I did um, use a mask because I just didn't want it to ruin the entire shot, especially on the car and on the back of the car. Yeah. All right, last thing. Now I can't reveal the color lookup yet because it's not done. It's something that I'm working on, but it's basically an origin teal um, um, LUT that I've been working on. I'm not liking it 100%. I like it 90%, but when it gets to 100%, I'll definitely, definitely share it with you guys. Now they're passing at 39. It's not much, usually I don't like drastic changes, but it did add some contrast to the shot, which I really loved. And by the way, if, again, if you like, if you wanna know, cause I might actually um, put this on sale somewhere, or maybe give it away for free, as I usually do. Anywho, that's it in Photoshop, and I'm going back to Capture One. And uh, yeah, so this is the shot, this is the before, um, um, I did do a bit of uh, adjustments here because I thought, you know, it it lacked some contrast. And I did add a bit of contrast and, and it's just clarity, natural clarity at 27. And yeah, um, that's about it. And uh, yeah, guys, I really do miss you. I'm really sorry, I've been very busy, I've been moving houses. Uh, it's hard when you're on your own in the mono house, you know, everything, every time, you know, you fix something, something else broke, breaks, and, um, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I guys just miss you, and if, if you guys have any question regarding this video, please leave me a comment in the comment section below, um, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, I have more to come, hopefully, um, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.